Israeli police used stun grenades and water cannon on Palestinian youths. As clashes erupted outside the old city in Jerusalem on Saturday. Tensions have been mounting in the city throughout the Muslim holy month of Ramadan. That's as anger grows over the potential eviction of Palestinians from homes on land claimed by Jewish settlers. On Saturday, tens of thousands of Muslim worshippers prayed at the Al-Aqsa Mosque in the Old City on Islam's holy night of Laylat al-Qadr. In the streets leading to the Old City gates, Palestinians threw stones, lit fires and tore down police barricades. They were repelled by Israeli officers on horseback and in riot gear. According to the Palestinian Red Crescent, at least 80 people were injured, including minors and a one-year-old girl. 14 were taken to hospital. Israeli police said at least one officer was hurt. Outside the old city, 27-year-old Mahmoud says police have stopped them from entering for a week. Look how they are firing at us, he says. How can we live? Israeli authorities said earlier on Saturday that security was being beefed up in anticipation of confrontations to enable freedom of worship and maintain order and security. That's after violence erupted on Friday night at Al-Aqsa Mosque. At least 205 Palestinians and 18 Israeli officers were injured, drawing international condemnations and calls for calm. Hostility has been intensifying amid a long-running legal case over the East Jerusalem neighborhood of Sheikh Jarrah. Numerous Palestinian families there are facing eviction. The district has witnessed nightly clashes. Police said dozens of protesters threw stones there on Saturday. And tensions are expected to remain high over the coming days. On Monday, Israel's Supreme Court will hold a hearing on the Sheikh Jarrah evictions. It's the same day that Israel marks Jerusalem Day, its annual celebration of the capture of East Jerusalem during the 1967 Middle East War.